Different country hoodies. <laughs> I feel like my phone is so shiny. But guess what? So I'm gonna give y'all a room tour. This is my first time ever staying at this resort. To keep it G, it was real cheap. So I was like, oh, but it had like good reviews. I guess it's because it's not like around like the main parts like Cancun, like this strip. You gotta drive a little distance. And usually when you drive a little distance, they be cheaper. But they got my favorite alcohol, so you know it's a party. But anyways, the room is cute. Um, I didn't do a standard room. I kind of upgraded because I was like, mm, it's so cheap that I could afford to. When I say so cheap, I mean it's in my, in my eyes, it's kind of cheap. But I could afford to um, upgrade to a nicer room and make it like an average. Well, still below average vacation. But anyways, here's my bed. I have a king size bed, some a sitting area over here, and this is all I've seen. Really, I ain't really went, went into the bathroom, so this is gonna be a tour for me and you. I don't know what happened here. Why both of the pillows over here? That's kind of crazy. But um, it's a table right here, the TV, and let's see what's in here. The iron board. I guess it's a place where you can put shoes. It's safe. And what is over here? A robe and slippers. I love when you travel solo and you get two of everything. So you can kind of wear like a fresh robe like every day or every other day. Yes. Um, I got some tiles over there. And I guess this is like the mini bar area. Gotta do that water. I ain't in Jamaica no more, so I guess it's crystal. Crystal. I guess that was awful. But yeah, it's a coffee maker right there. I guess it's an ice machine. Let's see what's in that thing. Why do it open from that way? And it doesn't have a light. I'm sorry, you guys, but juice. Do they got chips in the refrigerator? The ghetto. Like, who does that? I haven't had no plant, plantain, plantain chips. I was gonna say plantain. Plantain chips more water sprite coke and what is this i guess it's like mineral water or something i don't know anyways on to the bathroom this is one of the reasons why i chose this what a light it though so it's this huge tub jacuzzi right here and if you look this is my bed over there, so I can open this up from the other side. And I can see everything in the room. So yeah, I like that. There's doors right here to the toilet area. That's a big old toilet hole. Big old toilet hole. And the shower is just a door away. Girl, how you open? Okay, go <laughs> in. Oh, that's a claustrophobic shower. How many of y'all get excited about like the little knickknacks they leave you? So I got soap, shampoo, some kind of gel, but I guess it's that's a really small shower. Like, I don't know. Um, there's also a scale over there on the floor that I not dare step on because it's gonna hurt my feelings. <laughs> and a double vanity sink, a little mirror on the side. Don't you just shoe polish? You know what? This is a vanity pack, and I was hoping. Man, I don't think they got what I need. I don't think they got it. I want I needed a razor, and I forgot mine. I like that they got more than one face towel, cause that's needed. This look a little dingy. I don't know. Okay, shampoo, body wash, and lotion. Kleenex, and that's about all. I'm mad. I knew I should have bought me a little razor. Baby, these legs gonna be looking like a werewolf. <laughs> it's a full moon tonight. No, it literally is a full moon tonight. <laughs> like, real, real talk. So, yeah, that's my little room. And last but not least, you know, I gotta give y'all, uh, it's not much of a view. 
I could have paid, I could have upgraded, but I wasn't finna pay no seventy dollars a night just to have like an ocean view. I mean, I could. Truth be told, I can tell them to move me the last day and I can get that little view for the last day. But it just depends. If I don't be in my room like that, then I'm not gonna do it. This is huge. <laughs> Let's start there. It's a little sitting area right here. But look how big. Look how much space. What? A, what why, do, why does one need so much space? But it's jungle view. So hopefully I see like some wildlife. This is a total change to what I'm used to. So hopefully I can see some little monkeys or something. Oop, that's a fly. I'm scared of all bugs. I'm sorry. It's not much of a... Oh my God, what was that? Some just flew and it wasn't a, what the, get the, get the hell away from me. Some just flew and it wasn't a, um, it wasn't no bird. I think a monkey just jumped from a tree, bro. It's lit. Oh, that's what we whoop. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know where I'm going. It's just, it's a, the, the greenery is real out here. And I could have sworn I seen a monkey. I know I saw a bird. I was take, I was changing clothes or whatever. And this bird had his head cocked to the side, like looking, <laughs> looking at me. And I knew it was looking at me because when I closed the window, it moved. Like the head position switched up. But it was watching me undressed. The managed bird. I hope it, I hope it was managed and not the other way around, but I mean, if that's what you like. <laughs> so yeah, I'm currently probably looking crazy, trying to figure out where I'm going. I'm trying to make it to the pool before it closes because it closes in like 45 minutes. So this is my first official stroll through the property. So yeah, that. Okay, so I found the quiet pool, and not a soul is over there. And I know this pool from the clothes, but I'm finna steal, you know what I'm saying? Try to give me a drink. I had one already at the front desk, but yeah. Okay, so this the main pool. Eh, let's see what that swim up bar hitting on though. Hmm. So that was one side of the pool, and this is the other side. It, it also has another swim up bar and stuff over here. I don't even know where to put my stuff down. I don't know what a towel um, boy is. Good morning. So, 
Y'all, I'm in bed, but I've gotten up and gotten back in the bed. Um, my first day, I guess it was like a half a day, really short trip, but um, I'm not too wild, you know. Um, maybe I came late after a certain time and the pool, you know, after a certain time, I'm sorry, I was all the frame, but after a certain time, like the pool activities and stuff like that down, um, for this resort to be, but how I want to phrase this, for this resort to be the price range, I feel like the rules are stricter. You know what I mean? Because I've been to really nice hotels. And as long as you look nice, then it's okay for the restaurants. Now, they didn't turn me around or nothing. But um, it's supposed to be, like, elegant. Now, I've been to some places where you, you know, that were top-notch. And you can see why. But now, I just, I just don't see why. You know what I'm saying? Um, Even though I did bring, like, I, I didn't bring, like, my most elegant dresses because I'm like the resort don't scream elegant you know what I'm saying but um and usually a lot of places require men to wear like pants and stuff like that but women you can pretty much get by as long as you don't have on beach wear um tennis shoes and stuff like that but like no they want you to be like elegant I just don't think it's elegant worthy but anyways um it's not really much of a nightlife I mean, you know, they was dancing over there outside, but I'm I'm just not excited. So today, well, last night before I went to sleep, I kind of got, I was like, okay, I'm going to make the most of tomorrow because I don't know how the pool will be looking. Because, oh, oh, my God, it was so long to get through customs yesterday. Oh, my gosh. It's like an hour, no, an hour and 15, 20, 30 minutes. I don't know. So they have, like, activities, what to do for the day. Well, hour by hour, and I'm like, okay, I'm just going to probably just miss with the entertainment teams because, you know, they pretty much going to make you have fun here because usually you can have fun and, like, get into – I'm sorry, I'm moving this camera. But usually you can have fun and, like, get into stuff without having to, like, really look at this, but not here. And I don't know. I'm confused because I went to the pool earlier to reserve my spot. And ate something and they were doing some kind of pool activity but that activity ain't on here um maybe they started earlier i don't know i'm confused um yeah this resort has a lot of walking and that's another thing they want the women to have like closed toe shoes i can understand men because you know when you're wearing slacks and stuff you know closed toe you don't want no sandals but um they want women to have like closed toe elegant shoes. I'm like, sir, um, this resort has requires a lot of walking. Like the buildings and the restaurants, like they're a distance from each other. So why am I gonna go put on some heels? It's too much. Um, yeah, but I'm gonna make the best of it because you know it's paid for or whatever. So I don't know. Maybe I'll do, like, pool biking or something. Um, beach volleyball, even though I suck. I mean, oh, that's another thing, too, because y'all know I be traveling solo. I just feel like um, other places that I went to, a lot of people were more friendly. Like, I make a lot of, I, I meet a lot of new people. I make a lot of friends um, traveling solo other places. Here, everybody just kind of, like, stare at me. You know what I'm saying? And I stare back, of course, but... I don't know. It's a little weird. I almost kind of want to like book somewhere else and like leave here. Like for real, for real. But anyways, I'm going to go to breakfast. Like, listen, this this property is like huge. It's huge and boring. A lot of trees, which equals a lot of mosquitoes. I don't like that. I just, mm, this is a huge property. So I'm like, okay, which one of these? Where's breakfast? And. They got a buffet up here, but uh, it's, just, it's huge and it's confusing. And I'm probably not going to learn it before I leave or right when I leave. That's always how I go. But I'll see you later.
What are these sauces right here? Condensed milk and caramel. Okay, let me do. Which one should I do? The one. Yes. yes. I'm scared. Oh yeah, that should be okay. Oh, that looks good. check this out people always be calling me extra they be like oh you pack so heavy it's no need to pack 12 outfits for three or four days like because i always like have a backup to the backup so this time i was like i'm gonna pack light it's a short vacation and look what happened my only pair of flip flops that i brought just broke on me and now it's either i wear my sandals around my nighttime you know sandals that I wear with like you know more dressier clothes or I gotta go to the gift shop and drop a stack for some flip-flops I'm pissed I should have went on my first mind pack multiples of everything in case you know cuz I pack light and that's kind of the reason why I'm like man these folks talking about this strict dress code like I ain't bring all that cuz I just I'm I was trying to be simple but you can't be simple on vacation. Now I'm gonna get back to the room, and this concrete is hot. <sighs> oh, bro, this concrete is hot, and I feel like a butterhead after the club, walking without my heels on. Like this is unacceptable. <laughs> oh, trying to stay positive. <clears throat> trying to stay positive, sis. So I'm back in my room. I went by the gift shop and the flip-flops there were $20 and $30. And that's like a rip-off because you can literally get flip-flops for a dollar. Okay, so and then the fact that you know our money converts to more than you know Mexican money is that's a complete rip-off. So guess what I'm doing? I'm wearing my sandals around. <laughs> I'm gonna have to be pulling them off at the back, you know what I'm saying, just to get by the pool. But I'm not doing it. Like I would rather spend that money on food. <laughs> I'm a foodie. I want to spend that money on food. But um, I'm about to change. Um, not change completely. I'm just gonna put on some like fresh bottoms. Like if you me, if you me, if you me, if you like me, <laughs> I bring like so many swimsuit options and. I was talking to my niece on the phone and she was like, I hope you ain't one of them people who bring like so many swimsuits in. Why would you bring that many? And I'm looking like, cause you never know. Like you literally never know. See like right now, I still have options and I don't have to put back on the same ones. If they're wet, you gotta have options, boo. Okay. But um, let me show y'all my towel birthday cake. It's so cute. I told them it's my birthday because it is. And is it still is <laughs> so and then they brought me this too it says happy birthday okay and it's dead on that i'm the birthday girl <laughs> who wants to have the recipe who wants to have the recipe salud salud <laughs> okay so it's our birthday. It's our birthday. It's our birthday. It's our birthday. It's always tasty. I want a hard no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to figure out like how I start to feel this way because I've been drinking pita coladas like all day. But I ain't feel tipsy like until I got back to the room. So we gotta fight. Like me and the bartender got to fight because like 
I was good until I got back here. Like, <laughs> okay. Let's go. One, two, three. Okay, everybody set. If I post this, y'all gonna be like, okay, what happened to the rest of the footage? The thing is, I ain't no more footage. Um, I spent my last day, my last full day in Mexico in my room because I had a horrible hangover. Um, I tried to do the same thing I did in Jamaica. Like, um, one day, I drank pita coladas by the pool. And you know, a little later that day, I drank, drank what I, you know, drank, you know, my whiskey or whatever. Well, I'm not sure what kind of alcohol they was using in Mexico, but I had the same thing by the pool. Later on that night, I was drinking what I drink, and I woke up with throw up on the floor. And I don't throw up, okay? I don't care. I can get, I can be falling, stumbling around, but I don't throw up. I spent all day recovering from that, and I, when I felt better, I just was like, wasn't really excited about the resort. That's the thing, but you gotta take a gamble on certain places, or you're never gonna find, you know what I'm saying, other, you, you're not gonna find newer things. So, yeah, that's that. 
I don't know if you guys even want me to drop like the information like with the resort name because I honestly, you know, I'd be traveling. And honestly, I would not recommend it. Um, only The only way I would recommend the resort in Mexico that I just stayed in is if you go to Mexico and you plan on being like doing stuff every day. Like you plan on going to see the pyramids, going to see this, you know, going to see the whatever. You know what I'm saying? You going on a whole bunch of excursions, then you can stay there because it's really affordable. And um, you don't really have to be around the resort all day you know what i'm saying so that's the only way i would recommend it like save money get you a little cheap from and do some everyday excursions maybe go hiking or zip lining every day you really don't have to be there all day but if you just want to be there all day and you want like activities and stuff don't go there <laughs> but um i like breathless um i didn't book breathless because when I went back to book it, it went up $200. And I was like, eh, nah, I'm good. I'm going to try this one. But anyways, I did have fun. The beach was great. It was better than the last time I went. It was a lot of... Mexico was having, like, somewhat of a seaweed problem. But it wasn't as bad, um, the beach. So, I really liked the beach. Um, so, yeah. Here I am. And with that being said, y'all, I literally just walked in the door. I'm going to start untwisting. I ain't playing no games. Like, I miss my curls so bad. And my biggest fear with this hair is I feel like my hair is going to shed. I know my hair is going to shed when I take this down because it hasn't been able to breathe, you know, shed or run its course normally. What I had this up for two weeks. I only wanted it to last two weeks just so I won't have to do my hair on vacation because I know, you know, I'm going to be country hopping. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, that sis. Let me get showered and I probably should, I probably should take my hair down first and then like shower and wash it. Ooh. Anyways, if you guys would like to see more vlogs from me, maybe I drop one every once in a while. But um, use the comment section to let me know. The comment section and the thumbs up, thumbs up button. When I drop like newer content, you know, when y'all like the video and like comment like, oh, I want to see more than I know. Other than that, I'm gonna be like, okay. Anyways, it was real. It was real cool kicking in with you. You need any? If you want me to answer questions about vacation, which I have a video, I'm gonna go ahead and put that in the description box because I feel like y'all gonna be like, well, who you go through? Who you travel with? Because I've, I've answered all those questions before, but um. Yeah, <laughs> witty, witty world, witty's world. That's my old vlog name. Oh, duh, plug. So if y'all want to see more vlogs from me that I already did in the past, um, you can check out Pretty Witty's World on YouTube, and it's a lot of stuff over there too. So help yourself, sis. Thank y'all for tuning in, helping me celebrate my birthday. And I see you probably, you know, doing my hair, twisting it up or whatever. No, not twisting it up, washing, going it or whatever. So. Peace.